The Lightning LS218 is a super exciting product. It's got great tech, great looks, and zero emissions too. Something you may not know about me is I'm a bit of a biker chick. So when I heard about this story, I had to get involved. There are very few motorcycle companies in the United States. But here in San Jose, Lightning Motorcycles is using Silicon Valley technology and design innovation to change the game. This is a really special bike for Lightning. This bike has set the uh, land speed record at Bonneville. It won the open class at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. One Le Mans, one Laguna Seca, one Infineon. So it's a, a very special bike for us. Wow, I guess it's a little faster than my 620 motorcycle? A little faster. It went 218.6 miles an hour at Bonneville. Oh, so a little faster. <laughs> and, and it's electric. Oh my, really? So no CCs, Jeez. no exhaust, no gas. That is awesome. Awesome. So I assume it's pretty fast off the start then too? Yeah, with the instant torque, it's, uh, these are great bikes to ride. That is awesome. That just hit 110 in less than a second. The speed is important, but this is really about a better way of building motorcycles. This bike, once it's electric, you have choices of where you get the energy. You're not limited to fossil fuel. Then we have our new bike, the Lightning Strike, which not just competes in performance, but also in value. How'd you do all this? We've got a great team of really passionate people who love what they're doing and put in the effort to do it. And we have a secret weapon. So Paul, you're the secret weapon, huh? I am, hi. Uh, I'm one of the Fusion 360 experts with Autodesk. I'm also a generative design specialist. We've been working with Lightning for a few years now. Um, so let's go check out what we've done. Swing arm is the uh, rear suspension of the bike, right? So this is the bit that attaches to the frame of the bike. That's where the wheel goes. And this is one that's designed by a human being. Mm -hmm. So this took a, probably about a few months to do, uh, but all the same input and requirements that made this one were used to make that one. The difference being that that was produced in a matter of minutes. It's also considerably stronger and it's 30% lighter as well. Okay, yep, yep, that, that's solid. Mm -hmm. And, oh geez, yes. Right? Yes, that's rad. The difference is that with this one, we use a technology called generative design. So generative design is only interested in performance, making stuff light, and making it just the best version possible. So those are all the constraints going into the computer that then it now knows it can ideate within? Yeah, absolutely. So a human being can only really produce maybe three to five viably. Generative design can do thousands, and that's what we're seeing right now. And then from there, filter it down. So maybe, you know, cost is the most important thing. Maybe it's the way that you're making it or the material that you're using. Well, that was a smooth ride. What I like about these guys is they invested heavily in design. And, well, it's paid off. They've got the trophies to show for it. You know your typical home gym? It's big, bulky, and you have to dedicate a whole room to it. Well, forget all of that. This next innovation has revolutionized the home gym system. Sounds too good to be true? Let's see. So what's the big idea here? Our challenge was to completely reimagine the gym experience. So we thought, what can we do using technology, smarts, to get rid of these clunky old weights and barbells? So we started thinking about different pulleys and different arms and shapes, but also the handles yeah. to make every experience Absolutely. comfortable okay. and natural to the end user. Right. Is this it? This is it, right? Very small, very slim, hangs on the wall like a television. Mm, okay. This replaces a whole gym. So here you'll actually notice this rotates out. The arms come up. That's if you want to do a lat pull down. Now pull down on that. I Completely can't reach different it, though. Okay, we can have that adjustable <laughs> for you. <laughs> Here you go. I'm short. Oh, oh, this easy peasy. Put more on it. More. You I got can do it. it. Let's put some heavy weight on here for you. Wait, this is how you change the weight? That's how you change the weight. Just digitally? Digitally. This Ooh. is the magic of the machine. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa. Okay. See, because it's digital, it can actually slowly bring you into the weight. Totally. That is amazing. Instead of weights, uh -huh. there's actually an electric motor in here that's providing all of the resistance. Wow. Yeah, I love the compact size of the design. Exactly. I'm, being in San Francisco has been a great chance for us to see just how small apartments are. You think about treadmills and stuff, man, those things are as, as big as a car sometimes. What we're really trying to do is, is have that trainer experience, that guided experience that tells you what to do and how to do it right and effectively in your own home. 
Hey, what's up? I'm Coach Kelly, and today I'll be guiding you through the tonal strength baseline. Who's that good looking guy? That's me. <laughs> Since I'm in person, I'll tell you exactly what's happening. Tonal's gonna get to know you, assess your strength, recommend base weights for you, and then we'll get you right into a workout. And when you're ready to start working, click the weight on using the button on our smart handle. Whoa. You feel the weight kick on? Yeah, I definitely feel it. There's very few products that achieve all three design disciplines. Aesthetics, engineering, and UX, user experience. But Tonal exceeds in all three, blending them together seamlessly. Another thing I've learned is that I've got some work to do. 